Hello everyone and welcome to another SFS video. And if you don't know, I'm still continuing the Delta series. Just episode four is coming out soon. But um this video is actually about me going to another system which is not which is which is not in our another planet in another system which is not in the solar system so um yeah let's get into it hello everyone and welcome to the video so as you see here i have the big rocket with a big payload fairing on that a big payload fairing if it was on a normal rocket so um yeah don't mind the sounds in the background. Just think of them like they're not there. Just think. Hello. <laughs> you. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um. My phone between my bed and the wall. So um. Yes. Yeah, so we are currently launching. Now, keep in mind, this is only my first launch. I got it wrong. I got it wrong <laughs> the first time. I had to do it a second time, but not a third time, thankfully. Because, um, me being a complete dummy. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he, we have suffered the payload fairing and the first stage and we are in a semi orbit thingy so that so yeah I am just I am just burning uh, I'm doing the second burn the Second stage orbital burn. So, yeah. Yeah, and if you've seen the title and if you've seen the thumbnail, then you'll know we'll, we will be going to Trappist 1F, which will, which is only two system, only two star systems away, including our sun. And three, including Trappist-1 itself. So it's technically only one away. Or just really, really far away. <laughs> and that's why I got wrong the first time. It was far away, and I really haven't... And I really have not gone to another s star system before. <gasps> As you see, he, I got into a uh, orbit, and as you see here, I'm watching all this burn up, which is nice because why not? They just crashed. Those two are going to crash. Here is here's the name Gamma Base Camp. So this is the start of a new series. Gamma, or Trappist-1, Trappist-1 Gamma, Gamma Trappist-1, Trappist-1F, Trappist-1 Colonization, there we go, that's the title, Trappist-1F Colonization. Now that I say that, it makes me think of Spain. I don't know why, but, yeah. So, we are just sending space stages like they're nothing. Because they truly are not nothing. They truly are just nothing compared to the Trappist-1 system. It, 
Hello, I'm back. Now I am just um, going to the, just getting to the paralapsis to burn. So yeah. <gasps> My phone crashed. Resume again. There we go. Yes, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna be silent for the rest of the video. I mean, for the rest of the clip. We have exited Sun's sphere of influence. We are targeting the, um, this is the grave mistake. The grave mistake. This is what caused me to fail this entire mission. So, hmm. Yeah. So, there we go. Yeah, that just happened. Never try and do that. <laughs> so, yeah. The it starts going out like crazy. And then the entire thing starts doing that and Yeah, that's what happened. Everything just bugged out. Right went on. Never I went on it. Yeah, that was the glitched one. So yeah. That's what happened. And I reverted to launch. And now we are lifting off. I decided to um, quick save this time, which is good. Because then I will not to revert. Um, so. Next clip, uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is so I actually forgot to record me actually landing. So, yeah, I'm just going to describe it. So, I get out the solar system, and then I get, and then I get, and then I start burning to get to the to get to Trappist 1. So then I do that. So. So yeah. So then. Get to Trappist 1. I get to the Trap 1 system and the start burning to get into a. Um, to get into a orbit. 
into that orbit almost immediately. So, and then, and, and then I get an encounter for Trappist 1F. So, yeah. And then, I just, and then, I, and then I go to Trappist 1F, then I start running to get into an orbit. Then I get into that high orbit, so then I run to get into a lower orbit. And I get into that lower orbit. And Trappist 1F has an atmosphere, and it, and it does look icy. So, so then I do that, and then I do a landing burn, or a deorbit burn. So, yeah. So then, I do, so yeah, I do that. I'll probably have to re-record it. Yeah, but, um, you know what, I'm just going to re-record it. So, funny thing is, remember how I said that it's going to make, that I was going to make quick saves? Yeah, well, I did that. <laughs> so that's really good. So I can essentially just recreate it. And that's what I did. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I am recreating what happened. So, as you see here, I'm, I am approaching it. So... So then, that happens. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, the game freezing, it just... It happened a lot while I was getting the encounter while I was approaching it. Way more than it actually happened here. Way more. But, um, it's a good thing that I did, that I used the quick saves because since, so, because I essentially made this mission and me showing you this, entirely possible. So, um, that's good. So, as you see here, that's why to do, I had to close the game whenever it froze, then get back into it. Then. And then get back into the game, and then, get, and then resume the game. So, as you see here, I was still editing this video. I'm actually using Splice because it has no watermark, unlike Kind Master Filmora Go. So, that's good. And I went too far. I went way too far. I didn't... I wasn't... I didn't get the encounter there. But, um... Um... That... But on this quick save... I got it. So... And this is what happened. I sped it up too much. So, yeah. So now I am decelerating. Oh yeah, this is only going at one time speed. So that's nice. So...
So, I loaded up another quick save, which is rip. The quick saves are really good. I really don't use quick saves, so yeah, I have to make sure that I use them. And my phone's at two percent. So as you. See here, that is my proof. So, yeah, my phone dropped down to one percent right after I, right after that video was recorded. But now it's back at two percent. So yeah, I am just trying to get this small little flying thing to dock with that docking port on the top of that. So, yeah. RCS and docking ports are frustrating. Especially if you have a lot of RCS. But you just need the, you just need the capabilities of the RCS. There we go. So now I'm resuming the burn, getting rid of staging. So yeah, it's just like I did all the staging. Hmm. Yeah, don't mind the background. Um it's just someone mowing grass. Um you you really don't need to know the details, but it's some mowing grass. Which is good. So, I am just burning away. I am at the 17 minute mark, so... Yay. This is, I think, the longest thing that I've ever recorded with voice, or maybe not, I don't know. Oh yeah, I became, became such a pro at a uh, Space Flight Simulator that... Getting to the moon is just an ease. Like, I s could send Palo to the moon, but doing a moon mission, that's just easy. I've done it so many times before. But doing this, I haven't done literally ever, except for today. Or the 28th. Get this, um, yeah, someone just tried to call me, <laughs> but of course, Splice does, but Splice ends the call, that's very good, it declines the call, that's so good, that's another reason you should download Splice if you want to make videos, sure, it's probably not the best thing to use, but, um, yeah, it, if someone tries to call you, it does not automatically in your voice recording. Instead of you having to double tap your power button on your phone, just tapping or pressing the decline call button. And of course, some calls don't let you do that. So that's another reason. 
So we have just crossed the 20 minute mark. Yay. And I we have just and we have re-entered. We have entered the atmosphere. Currently conducting the landing burn and boom. <laughs> That's a nice way to, sh to show off the reason why I use some um, cheats. It's because I want to use, I want my mission to not fail and want to have my engines. I want to have a lot of engines at once so I can recreate Saturn, the Saturn V, stuff like that. To have a lot of um, things and also to not prematurely end my mission and not having to and not having to um, mess with the rocket that I've already made, which for this mission I technically did do. Well. I guess I'm guilty of that. Changing my rocket. So, and using cheats so I can do things. So I landed on the surface, but I, of course, wanted, wanted my base to be on the rocks, be on the ice. So, yeah. There we go. So that's all for today. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.